Sharma and Robert Dent are using new ways of learning in a brand new school. They're year 11 students at Pudsey Grangefield, which opened last September. Here, there's a laptop for every student, and they each take responsibility for their own learning in open areas that go beyond the traditional classroom. It's got great facilities for us. It's going to obviously benefit our education quite a lot because now we have the facilities and the teachers to obviously get better grades now. You can like just take a laptop and just do finish off your coursework and you have to stay after school to, and the teacher will help you. This project was part of the Building Schools for the Future programme. Over the next 15 years, it will transform schools right across the country. Here in Leeds, the vision's being turned into reality by Leeds City Council, ICT supplier RM and the not-for-profit company Education Leeds. They work in an award-winning partnership with a consortium made up of the companies Interserf, Cambridge Education and Barclays. The consortium is E4L. E4L is a consortium and, and really it says what it says in the box, it designs environments for learning. So we don't design schools, we don't design classrooms, we design environments where learners can learn um, and reach their full potential. That's got a minus le- net flow. Because this is a show and tell room. It's an innovative use of space that frees students and teachers from the confines of the classroom and it's used for debate and presentations. E4L says it had to work closely with the school and the local authority on translating their ideas into practice. The first thing has to be about understanding the vision, getting a real clear discussion going about what it is that all parties are trying to achieve. It's then taking that and making sure that we have a common understanding of what words like transformation mean, um, about what new learning might look like, about curriculum changes and innovation. What line is the, the video Uh, Ken Cornforth is the principal of Pudsey Grangefield. Here in the Media Studies Department, he sees how his students are making the most of the new technology. He says he was very demanding in what he wanted from E4L. It had to design a school that would still meet the needs of students in 60 years' time. This building was designed around giving children 21st century skills, creating fearless, lifelong learners. The building doesn't do that. It's the, it's the thinking that goes into the building, what the building allows to happen. Hi and welcome. You are listening to Putsy Grainfield FM. The facilities here let students learn from activities outside the classroom, like running their own radio station. The local authority in Leeds says it's delighted with its new schools and the way its partnership with E4L has worked out. This is world class. I think anybody who sees this will recognise this is what we are trying to do with Building Schools for the Future. We're not replacing the educational provision of the past. We're, we are making a statement about what learning is like and how we can achieve world-class schools and world-class standards. Everyone involved in the new look Pudsey Grangefield says the special use of light, colour and flexible spaces is a model for other schools to follow. They hope they can transform learning for students in Leeds and across the country for a long time to come.